Yo, what is going on everybody? This is Samuel Brown, aka RBT, and welcome to another episode of Past and Present Squads here on Madden 16 Ultimate Team. And today, as you see in the title, we are going to be doing the New England Patriots, which was voted by you guys. I put every single NFL team into a straw poll, and you guys voted. There was like over 300 votes, I believe, and the Patriots did come out on top. So that is the squad we will be building today. But just like last week's episode, I am going to leave another straw poll in the description below go vote i'll leave every nfl team in that straw poll obviously of the teams that we haven't done yet here on past and present squads go vote again and whatever team wins that poll will be the one i do for next week's episode once again you guys went ham on the like button for last episode and let's see if we can stop that we've hit 800 likes for the last two episodes let's see if we can hit 1000 if we can hit 1,000 likes, guys, on this episode, that would just be amazing. Before we do get into the squad builder, I wanted to address a couple things. First of all, if you missed yesterday's video, please, by all means, go check that out. It is by far my favorite video I've ever uploaded to YouTube, and honestly, the most insane Madden moment you'll ever see, probably in the history of Madden. Go check it out, guys. I'll leave a link in the description below, so go and check that out. And Also, if you're new to this series and don't really know how it works, I will leave a link to the playlist to the previous episodes that I have done for this series in the description below so if you really don't know how this series works go check out our previous episodes we'll bring you right up to speed and i want to reiterate this isn't an all-time squad builder it's not going to be the best players available it's going to be a mix of past and present players some new players with the team just some fun players just to make it a fun squad builder probably limiting to about a million coin spent but with that said let's get into the squad builder and of course right off the bat gotta start things off with one of the greatest quarterbacks in nfl history 99 tom brady man going for 400,000 coins probably will be the most expensive player in the squad but we had to go with the best version of Tom Brady look at those stats 100 throw power 99 throw short 98 throw accuracy deep 101 throw accuracy mid 100% worth the 400k and of course going with the big man himself at tight end Rob Gronkowski's most feared card 94 overall for 150,000 coins and our first wide receiver is going to be 88 rated elite Julian Edelman football outsider card for only 5.5 thousand coins a little bit undersized but still has fantastic stats so for our first former Patriot in this squad but we are going with 96 overall Akeem Tlaib who is now with the Denver Broncos, obviously 70,000 coins he is worth with fantastic stats. I love getting cornerbacks that are over 6-1, so this is going to be a huge pickup. i got to do it. I have got to do it. 98 overall Vince Woolfork, his legend card, was an absolute legend for the New England Patriots. Only 82,000 coins for his 98 overall card. So I wanted to go ahead and go with one of the newest members of the New England Patriots, and that is Shea McClellan, who is coming over from the Chicago Bears in a trade, I believe, 89 overall. Overall, only 3,000 coins and pretty good stats 89 speed at 6 3 95 pursuit 92 tackling so for our second defensive tackle we are getting the guy the Patriots drafted essentially to replace Vince Wolfork and that is Malcolm Brown his 93 overall all rookie card he was drafted out of Texas for only about 12,000 coins and for left outside linebacker we are going with the team of the year version of Jamie Collins 94 overall for 35,000 coins man absolute insane stats 95 tackling 97 pursuit with 89 speed definitely worth it for 35,000 coins and with our second cornerback we are going with our first actual legend of this squad builder and that is 93 overall Ty Lock could have got his 97 but a little bit too expensive and we've already spent a lot on some expensive players so we are getting him for 40,000 coins and for the third cornerback spot I could have gone with Logan Ryan but I wanted to go with this Malcolm Butler throwback card 91 overall the hero from last year's Super Bowl 31,000 coins with some pretty good stats and the reason I wanted to pick him not only because he was a hero of the Super Bowl he actually played with one of my really good friends at West Alabama and I just thought that was pretty cool so we are gonna pick him up and while I'm at it I want to go ahead and just pick up this Rob Ninkovich 90 overall captain card only for 6,000 coins and from what I can find, he's the only one on the market, so I think it would be smart to go ahead and pick him up. I might as well go ahead and do it and give us one of the sickest secondaries that you could possibly get with a past and present squad. But are going with flashback Brandon Merriweather, 96 overall for 83,000 coins, 94 hit power, 92 play rec, some insane stats there for 83k. And to go ahead and pretty much finish out the secondary, going with 96 overall strong safety Patrick Chung for 57,000 coins. 92 speed, 94 pursuit, 90 hip power. And how can you build a past and present squad builder of the New England Patriots and not include 
Wes Welker, his 95 overall flashback card for 45,000 coins. Looking at his stats really quick, 97 catching traffic, 99 route running. Obviously, he's on the shorter side, but his catching stats make up for that. And at running back, our only real elite option at running back is his 88 overall Dion Lewis for only 6,000 coins. Checking out his stats really quick. Not bad stats at all. 97 agility, 93 speed, 92 carry for only 5.7, like I said. And for our second string running back, we have to pick up Danny Woodhead. The guy was an absolute tank for the New England Patriots. Was so consistent for them with this time there. For only 4.4 thousand coins, his football outsider card. We will definitely take that. So really quick, going to snag this Nate Solder. He's the only one on the market. 88 overall, his breast cancer awareness card. 51,000 coins is a lot. Another former New England Patriot going with Logan Mankins at left guard for only 2.1 thousand coins now with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Sorry, but I'm not going to spend 25,000 coins on a kicker when I can get only three overall less of the same player for like 20,000 coins less. So we are going with Steven Goskowski, but just his cheaper version. So just for fun, I am going to get the out of position punter version of Tom Brady for 12,000 coins. We're going to look at his stats. 86 kick power, 94 accuracy, uh, kick accuracy that is. Not bad at all for a punter. So just to get a budget second tight end when we run two tight end formations gonna get scott chandler this is his road to the playoffs card i believe for 1.4 thousand coins he's 6 7 so it could be a really nice red zone threat so i would love to get this version of dante hightower but i've already spent more than i said i would and i still have a lot of positions to fill and we can get his 87 overall elite for only 3.5 thousand coins so that is what i'm gonna do but I think it, it's still a decent linebacker to have. So for the fullback position, I don't think the Patriots have any fullbacks on the market. So we are going to go with Michael Humanahumanahumanahui at the fullback position. He'll be a 76 overall. And it's lucky that I even got this card because there's only one in the market. And it didn't even have a buy now. It had a bid. So I had to bid on it. And luckily, I did win the bid. So we are going to put him at fullback. So not many right guards to choose from. But we are going to go with the right guard Shaq Mason football outsider. Actually, the highest overall right guard on the market for the Patriots. For our second string middle linebacker when we are playing in a 3-4 scheme, we are going with 86 elite Gerard Mayo. Look at his price. 2.1 thousand coins for an elite is just dirt cheap, man. I mean, he has okay stats for only 2,000 coins. So for our right defensive end, we are going with Chandler Jones' Team of the Week Elite card, 87 overall for only 3.8 thousand coins. He's no longer with the Patriots, now with the Arizona Cardinals. And for our last wide receiver position, we are going with Nate Washington, one of the newest members of the Patriots, 83 overall road to the playoffs card for only 1,000 coins, a solid number three receiver. So I need to shut up and buy this very quick because it's been the only center on the market for the Patriots the whole entire time I've been recording I've checked like probably five to ten times and he was put up in the last 10 minutes so quickly gotta buy Brian Stork and just thank God I have a gold center so I don't quite understand why the cheapest version of Sebastian Vollmer is a hundred thousand coins but you know what this is his 89 overall card it's the only real option I have at right tackle but his 95 version is only 39,000 coins more so why not? I think he's the final player to complete the squad. It's going to be close to like 1.4 million I spent on this squad. I'm going to lose so much on taxes. But you know what? Go big or go home. Welcome to the team, Sebastian Vollmer. And I just realized I had a Brandon LaFell already in my item binder. So why not just add him to the wide receiver number four spot? So the team is complete. And as you see here, we have Patriots everything. Patriots home and away jerseys. Their offense and defensive playbook. Their stadium and the elite version of Bill Belichick. And now to the team, and as you see in the top right hand corner of the screen, it's a 9C overall, and here we go. It's the same overall as my Seahawks team, but I think it's a little bit better. Just look at that offense, man. Good receivers, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You have a solid offensive line. I think that's probably the weak point of the team is the interior of the offensive line. Just not many great options. We have Gronk at tight end. Like I said, some very speedy receivers. Maybe the negative is they're a little bit undersized, but still can catch the football. Now, defensively, guys, we have an elite player at every single position. By far the best defense I have built so far. These linebackers, speedy, really good at tackling this secondary. Like I said, it's probably one of the best secondaries I could have possibly built. And I could have added in Jarrell Revis, but his cards are just way too expensive. But still, an amazing secondary, an amazing defensive line. With that said, guys, let's test this team out in a game, and hopefully I don't lose and get embarrassed because this is 
too good of a team to be losing with. This guy is not a subscriber, so he doesn't know what I do on the first play of every game. And it doesn't matter what he does, I'm going to throw it deep to the big man. Never mind, I'm going to get sacked. Great start, boys. Great start. Well, this isn't necessarily the start that I wanted at the beginning of this game, but let's see if we can pick it up right here, and let's see what we're going to do right on this play. Can we pick up this third down and be clutch. We're going to get pressure, but Gronk, well, that's actually Scott Chandler. Can he go forward for the first down? No, he gets stopped, and we're going to have to punt. So he has the big man, Jameis Winston, at quarterback, and what is 75 doing right there? Fake handoff, bubble screen, and Aqib Tlaib is there to break things up. Can we get a stop? This would be huge right here, and he overthrows them. I legit only picked this play because it looked very confusing, so hopefully that doesn't mean I throw a pick. And Danny Woodson is going to be wide open on the run, and he's going to have a lot of yards right here. We might get a touchdown here. Does he have the speed? Does he have the speed? He's going to get caught, but not until the 40-yard line. Let's see if Wes Welker can do what he did so many times with the Patriots and with the Broncos. He's going to be open over the middle, and he's going to get it. He's going to pick up the first down. What a clutch play. Oh, God. We're just going to throw it over the middle. That's going to be Nate Washington, and he dives for no apparent reason. Join Edelman is wide open off the slant, and he drops it. Well, our receivers have let us down, but let's see if we can pick up another third down on this drive. And this, this would be pretty clutch, honestly. This would be pretty clutch. And Gronk on the curl route, and he makes the... Two straight drops. Look at this lag, man. Fumble! Somebody get it! He's there. Pick it up. Oh my god, this lag. Maybe we can get some pressure right here. And oh, no, no way. No way. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. We get the pick. But you guys, this is going frame by frame. I don't know how I'm going to score. Gronk's going to be open to the outside. And he makes the catch this time. Oh, God. Come on, Tom. Somebody make a move. B, do something. RB, I'm just throwing it deep. Never mind. Nobody makes a run. Everybody stands still like they're stuck in freaking mud. Dude, this is awful. Frame by frame. This is frame by freaking frame. Fumble. Sick. Sick. Sick, I can't do a thing. So is uh, there any reason Vince Wilfork is my safety right now? Uh, Anybody want to tell me why that is the case? Because I don't have him as my free safety. Believe it or not, that's a sack all day. He has so much space. No way, no way, no way. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Big play right here, boys. Come on, come on, that's a pick. If he goes for this and gets this, I'm going to be kind of irate. I'm going to be mad, fam. I'm telling you right now, if he gets this, I'm going to be kind of mad. Should have been a pick all day, every day. Oh, God. No, 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 no. I ain't believing this. He better not. I'm going to be pissed. Okay, thank you, Malcolm Butler. Although, he shouldn't have picked that off. He should have just batted it down. But at least he didn't catch it. Wes Welker's going to be wide open over the middle. That was my audible. I'm a freaking genius. Oh, my. Gronk has nobody near him. Oh, Gronk is going to be gone for a touchdown. Where was his defense at, man? Look how laggy this is, dude. But regardless, big boy Gronk, is he going to spike it? Does he not? Come on now. You're going to make freaking Gronk nayday and not spike? Are you kidding me? Breaking news. Vince Wilfork is on the defensive line on third down. That's a start. Okay. No way. No way. No way. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, I knew this was coming from a mile away. Oh, I didn't know that was coming. And it's a touchdown. Pick all day. Can somebody pick the ball off? Pick all day. No, no, no. I can, I can already tell from a mile away he's just going to throw his hands up and not try to catch the ball, dude. What the heck? Now, if he picks this up after two straight dropped interceptions, I'm going to be I freaking rate. I see, I don't... I mean, this is... He has... No, 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 dude. This is so ignorant, man. Yeah. Jeez, he has 15 minutes to look for an open receiver. How is he so wide open, dude? This is... What is just going on? That's a sack all day. No, it's not. Y is wide open, but I can't press a button because it's lagging like just an absolute freaking chicken nugget on a Tuesday. He has space, but can I get the ball off with this connection? And I can, and he has more space, and he has blockers. Don't run out of bounds. Two yards is all we need right here. I don't know if we're going to get it because I can't tell because I can't see. We do get it. Edelman has so much space off the slant, and he's now in the red zone. I don't know what's more frustrating, me playing this game or you guys watching this game. It's got to be frustrating watching it because... You're sitting there watching pixels just go frame by frame. And I think we have enough room to pick up the first down. Down to the three-yard line, guys. I think we're going to score. Danny Woodhead this time. Can he be clutch right here? And he has space. And he picks up the touchdown. Let's go. With 14 seconds left, as we should know by now if you watched yesterday's video, never count anybody out when you score a touchdown. 
uh, with like 10 seconds left because anything could happen after that. It genuinely took me about 15 years to pick a play there, and I'm hoping he doesn't get anything big here because I'd kind of be sad. I'm right there. I'm right there. I'm right. What am I doing? Uh oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. What am I doing? What was I doing? What the? No. No. No, dude. Like, the lag. The freaking lag. What was my player attempting to do there? Oh my god, dude. Maybe he can miss his field goal, though, because I'm telling you, the lag's awful. He might get a bad kick here. That's the only hope we got. That is the only hope we got. And the kick is up. It's no good! It's no good! We win! We win! We win! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Oh my god, I cannot believe, cannot believe he just about tied the game up there. I don't know if that was more frustrating, like I said, for me to play or for you to watch. Because just then, genuinely, I, I don't know what the controller and the connection was syncing together. Because it was pretty much like a potato taking the ACT. That's literally how I felt this whole entire game, was like a potato trying to take the ACT after a night out or something like that. But regardless... With that said, we do win, and that's all that matters. Well, that is going to do it for today's episode of Past and Present Squad Builders, and hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, guys. And like I said, if you guys could hit a 1,000 likes on this video, guys, that would be amazing. It just shows me that you guys are enjoying the series, because this series does take a long time to put together, so it would make me feel like all this is worth it if you guys are enjoying the series. Like I said, at the beginning of the video, there will be a straw poll link at the top of the description below, so you can go and vote for which team you want to see next out of this past and present squad builder series there should be 29 teams on the poll because we've done three teams so far so go and vote for whichever team you want to see and if you missed yesterday's upload like i said please go check it out it was uploaded kind of late in the day so some of you might not have seen it yet and if you have to go watch it the most insane episode of Madden gameplay I'm telling you you will ever see. Also let me know in the comment section below how you think your team has done so far in the NFL draft. I'm a Titans fan and I like the picks. I'm an Alabama fan and a Titans fan so I'm kind of happy with the Derrick Henry pick. It's going to be interesting to see how he fits you know with the Titans. They already had DeMarco Murray and some other running backs but I'm still excited about the pick so let me know what you think about your team's picks in the comments below. With that said guys be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.